Hey, all right, welcome back. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing um, beef wellington. I'm gonna take you through some of the steps. Number one, what we have to make first is our mushroom duck cell. The mushroom duck cell is extremely easy to do. Um, I'm just gonna show you exactly what you need. You need your food processor, um, some mushrooms. We're gonna just trim off the, the stems of the mushroom and discard and then just put that mushroom right in there, okay? The other ingredients that we have are uh, just a little piece of uh, two, two cloves of garlic and a little, little bit of thyme and then we'll salt and pepper while we cook in the pan. All right, so we just processed the mushrooms. Um, in the beef wellington, this will go in between the prosciutto and the, the beef tenderloin. What, when you're making a duck cell, pretty much all you're doing is processing the mushrooms and then you're going to be cooking out the moisture. Um, mushrooms naturally hold a lot of moisture in them and uh, what we will do next is we'll go straight into the frying pan and we're just going to cook and watch all the water come out of uh, the mushrooms here. Once it gets to a dry consistency then we take it off the heat and it's done. So now that we have our, our seasoned uh, beef filet, now we can go into the pan. Uh, you want the pan super hot. We're gonna use some uh, just vegetable oil, and then we're gonna put a little bit of butter in there also, just for flavor. As the beef starts to get seared, I'm gonna baste it a little bit, and then that's it. We'll finish. Oh my God, it smells delicious already. So the next step after you have the beef seared and cooled, what you're going to do is you're just going to hit it with a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard. So, all right. So what we have now is we have our plastic wrap laid out, layers of prosciutto, and then we're going to use our uh, mushroom duck cell to spread a thin layer in there. Um, And as I mentioned, you want to get the duck cell all the way around the beef. So we will need to go full layer. Take back our set. Okay. My daughter's having fun with our dog right now. Lily, come say hi. Alright. So just like this. Nice and tight. Alright. Come here, Lily. And then we can just center it right here. And then we're gonna let the plastic wrap do the do the work by tightening it up. Push everything in, nice and easy. And then you're gonna tighten this thing up. And then it's gonna go in the fridge. Put it in the fridge for a good I don't know, 20 minutes. And this will be nice and tight. Be good to go. And then we can just put it in the puff pastry. See? Lily, look! This looks so good, doesn't it? <laughs> Say hi. hi. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our beef wellington, all right, we're going to put that right into our puff pastry. 
Um, I bought the star store book store bought puff pastry sheets. They come folded in three. I hate them, but uh, anyway, you got to bring them up to temperature once they come out of the freezer. And uh, what you're going to want to do is throw a little bit of flour down and then just roll it out so it's smooth. Then we'll wrap the, the beef wellington in the puff pastry and trim it, make it nice, put it into the plastic, make it nice and tight, and then we'll be ready to uh, go into the oven. All right, so pay attention, stay tuned. Let's, uh, let's see how this is done. A little bit of flour, like I said. My wife just got home, as you can tell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know you're recording. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Do a job, sweetie. I don't know if I can wrap that, because I only have four pieces. Sandwich. Can't wrap what? This one. Oh. It's just sandwich. It's like bacon. True. Yeah. All right, so place the Wellington in the center. The welly. And again, ah, uh, you know what I have to do? Just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim it off. Right where it needs. We're gonna pinch this. Alright, so the dough becomes one. <laughs> so the dough becomes one. <laughs> is it fucking married? Now they are. And then just roll it out. You want to make sure that that seam's always on the bottom too. So we're going to trim this up because you don't need that much. Okay. And then what we can do is we can tuck. Tuck right underneath. And that's it. So now, what we'll do is we'll take our, our plastic film and tighten it up. Let me get a oh, there it Thank you, my assistant's here. <laughs> I showed up. That's gonna make it even tighter, which is nice. Especially when you put it back in the fridge, it's gonna firm up again, right? Yeah, we're gonna chill this just for a little bit before we go back into the, before we cook. But the plastic is just gonna do the same thing as the prosciutto did uh, when it was wrapped. Just tighten it up, okay? So excited. That's gonna be my piece, by the way. The whole See? thing. Looks beautiful. So we'll let this firm up in the fridge for a little bit. And then um, then I'll be back with the next step.